1980 marked a major political turning point in America, a fundamental retreat away from big government ideals, a shift toward a new wave of conservatism coming out of the West. I believe today that in this country there are millions of Democrats who are just as unhappy with the way things are as all the rest of us are. The stakes were high in the 1980 election. The U.S. economy was in shambles, racked down by rising unemployment and double-digit inflation. The Cold War was heating up as Soviet troops advanced into Afghanistan. And Americans were growing increasingly frustrated with a no-end in sight hostage crisis in Iran. I don't understand why 52 Americans have been held hostage for almost a year now. California Governor Ronald Reagan was the Republican Party's pick for president in 1980. After locking up the nomination, he wasted no time in attacking the sitting president, Jimmy Carter. The major issue of this campaign is the direct political, personal, and moral responsibility of Democratic Party leadership in the White House and in the Congress for this unprecedented calamity which has befallen us. It was an uphill battle for Carter. His approval rating was so low he barely survived the challenge from Massachusetts Senator Ted Kennedy for the Democratic nomination. He had to go on the defensive, his game plan to paint Ronald Reagan as a warmonger. I had a discussion with my daughter Amy the other day before I came here to ask her what the most important issue was. She said she thought nuclear weaponry. Next Tuesday all of you will go to the polls who stand there in the polling place and make a decision. I think when you make that decision, it might be well if you would ask yourself, are you better off than you were four years ago? That question seemed to have resonated with voters. After the debate, Reagan took a slight lead in the polls, but still, the race was too close to call. Then, just two days before the election, the Iranian hostage crisis took a dramatic turn. Radio Tehran reports that the militants holding the American hostages agreed to turn them over to the Iranian government. It was a bombshell announcement, but to voters it was just an announcement. An announcement that the hostages were not yet freed and by election night, America had made up its mind. Decision 80. NBC News reports the results of our national election. NBC News projects Ronald Reagan the winner of Indiana's nine electoral votes. In Florida, NBC News projects Ronald Reagan the winner. Our projected winner in Mississippi we are is the Republican. The state of Alabama. Ronald, Ronald Reagan will win the state of Ohio. Only Georgia so far projected for the Ronald president. Reagan is and now New Jersey with 17. Pennsylvania for Ronald, Ronald Reagan. Reagan already at 252. The map this is time. turning blue for Reagan. Well. The time has come. You've seen the map. We've looked at the figures, and NBC News now makes its projection for the presidency. Reagan is our projected winner. The California governor won in a landslide victory. And for the first time in more than two decades, Republicans regained control of the U.S. Senate. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear. On Inauguration Day, as Ronald Reagan took the oath of office as the 40th president of the United States, Iran coordinated the release of all 52 Americans held hostage for more than a year. It was the result of a deal brokered by the Carter administration, but the first major victory for the new Reagan White House. For more on the election of 1980, including full speeches and parts of NBC's broadcast from election night, browse through the playlist to the left. Also, be sure to check back here soon for another political turning point, the election of 1992. I'm Tom Brokaw.